Hello, hello, it's Friday. I'm Marcia Grace, your Calm Creativity Connector, and I am here today to continue our conversation on patience. And today we're talking about what patience has to do with our well-being. What does it have to do with it? <laughs> well, I've been actually I've been talking about that a lot the last few weeks, <clears throat> but I want to really focus in on uh, some of the um, really crucial aspects of how patience affects how we feel, how we how we uh, how healthy we are, and so many other things. So, you know, because we're busy women, and we, you know what, we don't have time. We don't have time for sickness, right? We don't have time. For, we don't just to lay around and. I don't know, eat bonbons, right? Definitely you don't want to eat bonbons. <laughs> Too many calories, right? I'm on this Zoom diet. It's not Zoom, what am I saying? Noom diet. <laughs> Noom. And um, it's really taught me a lot about <clears throat> what we eat and how we eat and all kinds of things. So um, if you're looking to uh, uh, lose a few pounds or get healthier, um, you might want to try Noom. Uh, I'm not getting paid for that plug, by the way, so, you know, you can totally discount it. <laughs> right, anyway, um, so so it's crucial for us, anyway, to take care of ourselves, right? We have to take care of ourselves because if we don't take care, if I don't take care of me, who's going to do it? Yeah? And then if I'm not in good shape, how can I take care of anybody else, really? So that's what my standing uh, argument always is for why I continue to talk on and on and on about um, about our uh, being able to take care of ourselves uh, initially so that we can then go out and do what we're met, what we're here to do because we're we're here to offer uh, our expertise our compassion our love to the community that we serve right whether as parents uh, children of parents uh, whether we're bosses you know it doesn't matter but as busy as the busy women we are today we have to take care of us so um, and I know, I know we're bombarded, I mean bombarded by just when we get out in traffic, we get in the car and there's traffic and we've got so much email, you know, we can't keep up with it. I know I'm up until all hours, uh, practically every night trying to keep up with my email. Um, <clears throat> we may have an upcoming meeting we're a little concerned about or, a, a, you know, we have to go somewhere and, and we're a little nervous. Uh, or maybe it's a toxic relationship that, that uh, we really need to get out of and don't know how. So that can be incredibly stressful, right? Um, and, and of course, just add that on. It's another thing on our growing to-do list uh, that seems to be, I don't know, it's like a long paper that goes down to the floor, <laughs> right? Um, it's a fact of life. We're all very busy. And, uh, and, and that creates stress, stress and anxiety, uh, which are the antonyms to patience and well-being. Right, so they 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 they're the opposite, and so we really want to get to a place where we can utilize this wonderful concept called patience, so that we can work on our well-being and and create a well-being that a state of well-being that will serve us. So you know, because when we're in that anxious state. Um, you know that fight or flight reflex that comes up when you're when you're anxious when you're uh, stressed that releases and well, I've told you this before that releases the stress hormones cortisol and uh, and adrenaline and when those things get kicked into your system uh, they affect everything in your body so they affect uh, uh, you become nervous you you can't sleep um, you have digestive problems it affects every aspect of our physical and mental being so wow, right? We don't want that. We just don't want that. So and because it becomes a it becomes a, a revolving circle. Because if you don't get enough good sleep, enough quality sleep, um, you're going to um, uh, everything else is going to suffer in your life. So um, and and those those hormones that are secreted as a result of our stress, they um, uh, they uh, create what's called adrenal fatigue. And the Mayo Clinic, let me read it here, says the Mayo Clinic describes um, uh, adrenal fatigue as body aches, fatigue, nervousness, sleep disturbances, and digestive problems. Okay, so 
wow, I mean, that's everything, right? I mean, <laughs> if you have any of those things going on, and please notice if any of this is referring to you because you want to do something about it, right? That's why I'm here to kind of ring the bell and say, pay attention, pay attention. If you're having any of these problems, it's not normal. It shouldn't be that way and you, you can do something about it. So um, if you're not getting quality sleep, it may be very, very possibly, it can be because uh, of our need to compete. Our need to compete. And I, I mean this in a very general way in the sense that, uh, you know, we hear people say, oh, I can, I can exist on five hours sleep a night. That's all I need. I don't need more than that. Uh, maybe I'll take a little cat nap during the day or something, right? And we hear this and we say, oh, I guess, I guess there's something wrong with me because five hours of sleep, wow. Oh, that's, that would be hard, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to do that because I got so much to do. So, so that's the kind of competition. What, what, you know, in other words, it's other people who um, are telling us their experience or their situation, and maybe that works for them. But <laughs> it's certainly not going to work for me. I know I need my almost eight hours every day. If I don't get it, I'm like dragging. So, um, so don't listen to anybody else. Listen to yourself. That's the whole point here. Listen to yourself. Um, because, uh, um, you know, another thing that happens as a result of, uh, of not getting sleep, or, or the reason why we don't get enough sleep is because um, we have this need for instant gratification, right? Uh, you know, we're, we're rushing around. Oh, I have to get this done, uh, and it has to happen yesterday, right? Uh, because if it happens tomorrow, it's already too late. Well, wow. I mean, what pressure we put on ourselves. Is that fair? You know, that's not really fair. You don't, you don't want to do that to yourself. But again, the competition and, you know, those other people all doing the same thing. They're all rushing around trying to get so many things done. And, and uh, I've got to do one more video. I've got to read one more article. I, I, whatever it is, you know, uh, it's just constant, constant, constant. So, um, so all of these things lead to a lot of physical problems. And, and, and check yourself out. See if any of these things, let me see here, what have I got on my list? Um, can, can, you might be having issues with because stress affects your microbiome. You know this, right? That's your, your gut, right? What's going on in the belly? And the belly is called the second brain today. I mean, that's, that's an expression that's used, which when I first heard it, I said, wait, what? That doesn't make sense. But uh, if you study it, if you read up about it, and I, I strongly uh, urge you to do so, uh, you'll be amazed at what you'll find out. Well, anyway, so our gut, our second brain, um, if it's not, uh, if it's getting, well, if those hormones are kicking in, it's going to cause havoc in there, and it's going to lead to digestive issues, uh, maybe even chronic disease like uh, IBS, um, or at least constipation and bloating, where that's no fun, right? <laughs> so, so, so again, stress affects the whole body system, everything, and your mental state, needless to say, too, because... When you, um, when these hormones throw your, your uh, microbiome off uh, and you're secreting all these hormones that shouldn't, you, you don't want, they don't want, it's going to cause you to be, it's going to cause to, it's going to affect your mood. Yeah, it, it's going to. And, uh, and there you go. So your relationships suffer. Uh, it, it, it's not a good place to be. So I really hope that you will consider these things. If you're having any of these symptoms at all, you know, please, 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 please uh, pay attention to your body and uh, do something about it. You know, find, find whatever it is you need to do to, uh, to improve your diet, get that sleep, because that sleep, uh, sleep restores your body. It allows your organs to, to renew themselves, to, to uh, relax and, and um, do their job, you know, whatever you, your kidneys are uh, doing their thing and your liver's doing its thing. And, you know, all of those things uh, happen much more easily and effectively uh, when you're sleeping. And, uh, and, and that's when your hormones can regulate. So sleep is such an essential thing because it also restores your mental state. Uh, we know that everybody needs REM sleep, right? You need your REM sleep 
uh, that dream state to, to um, allow the thoughts of the day, whatever happens during your day, to allow yourself to process them so that, so that you can um, uh, maybe come up with ideas. You know, you want to come, the next morning you'll wake up and you'll say, oh yeah, I could do this about that. You know, whatever it is. Uh, I, I, um, uh, that's the, yeah, I have the answer to that issue I had a problem with yesterday. Because you're getting that sleep that's allowing your brain to process the issues that it's going through. So I can't, I can't say enough about the importance of sleep. So again, that's, that's what you want to do. Um, and it allows that gut to renew itself, regulate the hormones in it, uh, get your digestive tract working, um, you know, like clockwork, right? That's what you want. So, all right. Well, so I wanted to um, just make sure you, you get this message that I'm giving today, that being rushed or stressed, um, uh, it, being impatient, right? Being impatient because we're talking about patience. Um, and suffering from the results of that impatience uh, will cause you sleep and, and um, digestive issues, mental issues, uh, and do, do really awful harm to your, to your mind and your body. So I hope you see why patience has everything to do with your well-being, right? Everything. <laughs> All right, with those words... I want to wish you a happy day and a happy weekend coming up uh, and a week ahead. And please remember, everything begins with a thought. So watch those thoughts. And when you find one that you don't like, tell it to go home. Tell it to go away. <laughs> and enjoy yourself now. Bye-bye. See you next time.